So I was thinking of like stealing like attacker ships, people that are attacking me, and then selling them. But um, I don't I don't know if it's actually worth it, especially if you have to go through all that trouble to dock their ship, and then to get fined for contraband if in case they have contraband, and then register which costs about as much as the value of the ship itself and then sell it do you even make a profit not that much it's better it's probably better just to do missions you cannot sell your home ship fuck um how do i switch home ships Yeah, someone said on the internet, well, it's the internet, but someone said that selling ships is a very profitable thing. Maybe later on in the game, maybe, when you get ships that are well, well more than 10k's worth. All right, how do I, do I just select it? No, remove, no. How do I make this? I want to remove the ship from ownership, hell no. I'm trying to figure out how to make it my home ship. How do I change home ships? God damn it, they never tell you shit. <laughs> How do I change home shit? Oh my god, it's the fucking nightmare and a half half the fucking time playing this game. Alright, I should just keep Google open half the time. Alright, let's learn this real quickly. Um, Starfield. How to change home ships. The first is relatively simple. When you take over a ship, you can take off and then the current flying will be marked as the home ship and previous ship will be returned to your inventory. Yeah, I know it's returned to my inventory. How do I select it? Uh, the other way to change your home ship is to speak to, ship tech to a ship technician. So the guy that I'm right here. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities always modify ship. Right here for you. Do I do it through this, maybe? Sure. How about it? Double check. Ship builder. Inspect. Make home ship. Okay, there we go. I swear to god, their uh Their fucking UI is so fucking redundant. I am so done with their UI. That is, that is the dumbest. <laughs> why is it just, why can't it just be in my UI, not his UI? I don't understand anymore. The, the fucking Bethesda. Oh no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up to see if it's worth actually selling ships because it, for right now, that has proven to me that I'm, I'm not going to jack someone's ship and sell it because I feel like I'm going to lose money in the process. So let's see. Is it worth selling ships? Selling selling a ship gives you credits based on its value, granting you the remaining 10% of the cost to registering a stolen ship. Those who learn how to sell a ship, uh, still and sell a ship in the Starfield can profit a good amount of money from this interaction, which should drown any moral debts. I don't know. It's really not that great of a money maker, though. Yeah, ship selling viable. Let's go to Reddit. <laughs> Reddit always has the answers. 
Same feeling is crazy that the ship costs 150k only and sells for 16k and registering bit sucks. Yeah, that takes all your profit away. I wonder if uh, let's see what the replies are for that one. Yeah, it does kind of suck, but I'm glad credits aren't pointless resources. I can't. Uh, oh, horses, but I can't. Oh, that person's grammar just really sucks. Okay, I thought I was like, is my does my is my dyslexia kicking in? No, the person's grammar is the shit. Um, here though, it's nice. You can't just spam sell ships and bank millions. Yeah, I guess there's no real quick way to really make money, to be honest, in this game. Which uh, is understandable. That means you have to play this game longer, which I do not mind. A lot of people try and play games way too quickly these days. And it's because there's so many games that come out every year. So if, if that means, you know, if I can't just, like, have the sure way to make money and Starfield... I'm 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 okay with that, but uh, I guess if I'm gonna board someone's ship, it's because that's the ship I want to be my next ship. So that would probably be the case. <laughs> it's like that's my next ship. So I'll probably be looking out for sexy ships. Hopefully, I don't destroy them first though. But destroy them first, the the ship wasn't worth getting. Mm -hmm. Oh, but um, I'm not keeping that one ship though. Did I ever sell it? I think I already sold it. Did I? <laughs> I can't tell. Mm. Uh, all right here. Hey, what can I do for you? Oh yeah, I didn't sell it because it was my home ship. So I'm sure you can find something you like. I'm not going to keep that current ship that I had. Oh, and this is mine. I was like, don't accidentally buy a ship, please. Uh, I still have 32k, though, which is nice. Mm, Frontier, the Space Raven. Man, I'm only going to make 10k out of it. Well, not even. My profit would only be, like, as I said, 1,000 bones. I'll sell it. I only make one thousand dollars if you count all the expenses and being charged for contraband. I wonder if there's a cargo that I can get that I can, s I can like stow contraband and it will be safe for, you know, being scanned. I, it seems like it would be a thing. I'm sure it probably is. Excuse me. Thank you. Well, yeah. How much is that one ship that I'm really eyeing, though? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Let's see our ships. I'm sure you can find something. There's one ship I'm eyeing real quickly. Not that one. That one. That's the ship I'm eyeing. It's like a quarter of a million. No, way, yeah, it is above a quarter of a million. Man, if I can get that. I know it doesn't have very good ballistics, but it, it makes up for laser power and shit like that. And uh, it has a good reactor, too. Like, its ship reactor is insane. Hmm... God. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just say I'm gonna try and save up for that ship though. I wonder if there's like a middle of the line ship that I can like, kind of work towards. I don't know. The, I kind I kind of think the ship that I have right now is the middle of the line ship. Everything else doesn't seem to be as good. I think in the Galileo would have been that, but now compared to the ship that's my home ship right now, not so much. It looks better than my current ship. <laughs> like how this ship spacer spacer raven is uh in his dock now mm, well thank you dude i guess uh oh yeah 
We're gonna fast travel to Shom. Is that the? Uh, I guess I can't really fast travel from here. Or run to him. <laughs> oh yeah, you get scanned when you enter the city too. There's like so if you're trying to do contraband in the, I guess the UC provinces, <laughs> you're gonna get scanned twice. So don't take it off your ship, dude. Commercial district. He's gonna be surprised that I finished the uh, second job so fast. It took me a little bit longer because I was trying to sell one of their ships and it wasn't fucking worth it. <laughs> I think I might have lost money trying to sell that guy's ship. I do like how they improve the uh, animation in third person though. It looks a little bit smoother. It's still a little unorganic at times, but overall, like the overall like movement is good. It's decent. It's good to look at. Dealing with you is the best part of my week. One pirate's unfortunate demise log. We're making space safer, fulfilling our civic obligation. <laughs> this is great, right? Mm-hmm. I got paid less for that. This job is a bit of an unknown. A small company CEO suddenly disappeared, defaulting on a very serious loan we gave her. No one knows if she embezzled the funds, is stranded somewhere, or heck, was kidnapped. And we have a lead on where she is. Please, please, please try and handle this delicately. I look into it. I feel better already. Good luck. I think I have to hold down that button to do it. Yeah, doing fool seems like a series of uh, missions. Like how I'm being a debt collector, though. Scum of the earth. <laughs> Scum of the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Launch time. Launch. Uh, I'm not eating lunch today. If it, if I do eat lunch today, it'll probably be a late lunch. It'll probably be after the stream. Which I'm probably... Not, I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably not going to go all the way to like 4 or 5 today. But I am going to try and sink in as many hours as I can. And I'll probably take the weekend off from Starfield and... Probably go right back into Starfield on Monday. That will be the plan anyway. Am I missing something here, or... One second. I'm going to read the thing first real quickly. Hidden there. Let's see. I've been given a job. I'm going to do that. I don't see my target's location. A lot for lunchtime? Uh, I don't know. If there's any leftover oyster stew, I'll probably eat that. <laughs> I don't know, though. I'll probably make a sandwich. Like a ham, ham cheese, mayo. I, well, if I'm gonna use ham, I usually use like another piece type of meat, like turkey or chicken. 
I like multi I like multi meat ham uh sandwiches. Can't tell if I need to land somewhere else on this planet. Or It says it's, oh wait, is it on my, wait a second, one second. No way. Is it near my home base? Yes, infallible one. Is this motherfucker, oh wait. Oh, I thought, I saw a red arrow on my like dashboard. I was like, ooh, wait, what is that? <laughs> It's a different is it a different moon? Oh it is a different moon. Alright, so it's on a different moon around the planet. I need to go to abandoned mine and land. Yeah, I haven't actually been to this moon. That's right though. I got a lot of planet exploring to do. I think during the um during the playthrough I should try and 100% certain planets, at least when it comes to explorations. So I need to 100% at least a few planets, and I need to 100% some moons and all that stuff too. I'm trying 100% exploration in all like in this region, city places. Have profoundly affected the ecosystem. Flora? It's a moon. Is there flora? I don't know. There's doesn't seem to be flora. Maybe fauna. Never know. But uh you might want to get your sensors checked. I don't think there's flora on here. It's a bloody moon. So there's al aluminium and what is that helium? Oh, there is some grub here. The enemy is approaching. Nutrients and tissue. Oh. Cool. Nice. Uh Okay. We're near the enemy's territory. Alright, buddy. Al. Friend. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> He's dead. I am uncertain why you believe conflict with us was advisable. I mean, I'd, I kind of picked this fight. Is no longer visible. Searching. Also, these are spacers? Or if our client is either being held hostage or he's hired likely end in your death. Can you even hire spacers? I don't think you even can even hire spacers. They're murderous fucking like marauders. Unless the guy hired spacers, uh yeah, I have a feeling the guy's in trouble. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta I gotta scroll up. <laughs> uh I 
that's how I'm gonna test my I, the way I'm gonna test my grandchildren is depending on how they react to certain things I say <laughs> it's like hey, who's gonna get the inheritance <laughs> they won't even know now the the biggest joke is that they think they, there's even an inheritance I'm gonna be broke for the rest of my fucking life <laughs> I'm never gonna make it big anywhere. So they're gonna be like sorely disappointed. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the biggest joke. And my my smartest my smartest grandchild will probably be like that. It's like ah, I fucking know grandpa's <laughs> poor man. <laughs> I'm not gonna rely on inheritance. The only thing they can inherit is my genes. Uh, if Claire ever becomes famous or something like that, then that's that's all her money. And she'll she'll try and figure out what to do with that money. The only thing I would probably uh, ask her of her to do though is when she if she does make a lot of money in the in the future, hire an accountant. Hire someone that helps you dispense that money wisely. You know, helps you invest in shit, all that shit. And make sure they were a liable company too. <laughs> like I not I might not be rich, but I know what to if I ever did get money, I, I'll know exactly what to do with it. Yeah, definitely invest in land and re um, buildings and shit like that. Mainly if if you can, not don't buy the buildings, don't buy like a home. See if you can buy the land itself. Do what McDonald's did with their franchise. Yeah, you know, if you guys know the history of McDonald's, they're not a restaurant company. They are a land owning company. They own land more than anything. Huh, what's this? I picked it up, but it's not a new item. Weird. I have no clue. Like, I don't have any aspira- like, expectations for Claire. Oh, Vasco was opening that. I was like, yeah. As a father right now, due to the fact she's not even like, She's not even a year old yet. My only expectations for her is to uh, stay healthy, make sure she's happy, <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. Make sure she's healthy. Make sure she's happy. I don't. I don't worry about her learning language yet. I don't worry about her. You know, I guess expectations slowly come into play the older she gets. So that way I'm, I'm making sure she's not falling behind on anything, learning-wise. When she's in fourth grade, we're kind of hoping she has at least a reading level of a seventh or an eighth grader. Unless she has dyslexia like me, and then reading out loud is going to be a very hard thing to do. Because I... I have a very hard time reading out loud. I can read just fine just just reading things normally, but reading out reading things out loud I my brain starts starts scrambling things over time. And it gets hard. It gets really hard for me to like read anything. I don't think let's see. Now most likely, this could be a decoy, so that's probably a decoy. I could probably do that one, or it could be for, not for that. It could be for that, or it could be for this, but I gotta find out. No. There's, 
Wait, there's two of these. Mm. I'll, I'll do that. And then, is there a try one? This one? Yeah. What's that? Oh, fuck. Fuck. That's not gonna work. Fuck. I, yeah, I remember. You can't solve things unless it's a auto slot. <laughs> auto slot. Yeah, I don't think I can auto slot anything. This is none of it works. <laughs> I'm gonna undo. I have like 31 undos. That's pretty good. So this one works. Oh, wait, I think I see it. This one works and this one. Solve the first one. Nope. Maybe. Yes, I see it. I did all that for that. <laughs> if anything, I did it for the XP. I did it for the XP. Excuse me. All right, is there a... Most likely a mechanism. Yeah, there's a there's a switch somewhere I need to press. Is it this shotgun shells? Da -da. about to go into a mine hopefully it's not leaking any gas or else we're all going up in flames <laughs> all I have is ballistic weapons I could whip out the axe though mines are dangerous to fight in though you gotta be careful I think what I should do is wait on looting until I know our target. Oh, shit. Target's safe. I have detected life You're gonna pay for that. You're gonna pay for that. Oh, dang it. Bosco, you need to watch yourself. Wonder how big this cave is. Better watch yourself before I drop you. Doors locked. I can get some distilled water. Oh, I can. Uh, I can. I can hack it. I can hack it. I can hack it, Coach. I can do that. But is there one that is? Oh, I think I see it. Gotta be that one. And now, I either need to do... Pray there's no one out there. Do that one, and is there a twofer? Yeah, there's a twofer over there. Now I just need to do two more of those. Blech! <laughs> Nutrient. Ooh, weapon damage by 2% permanently increased tool grip. Wait, tool grip weapon damage. So I don't know if that's... I mean, it's improving something by like 2%. Which is, uh... uh something. Something. Reds. Credits. Digibig. Uh, 